everybody Ann here just sitting here in the beautiful sunshine on my porch having coffee with all of you as usual haven't even brushed my hair oh well I don't have to who cares nobody cares <laughs> anyway at the end of my last video I told you that I had received some more prezzies so here's the footage that I took last night I had been told I was going to be getting some stuff from uh, a few subscribers but I wasn't really expecting anything until next week so I don't know if these are the things that I'm expecting or if they're total surprises, but we're going to find out in a second here. So let's open this first one. I'm going to open up this little, hopefully this won't take me too long. I think this is just a packing slip. Let's see if it has any notes on it or anything. Give me an idea of who it came from. La 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 la. Well, those are just instructions on how to return it. Um, nope. Just packing slips. Okay. I can't wait to find out what it is. My goodness. <laughs> whoops, whoops, I opened it the wrong way. I like that little box. I can plant stuff in it. Check this out, you guys. It was unzipped, but that's okay. This is cheese. Somebody sent me cheese. A friend of mine that's collaborating on my wish list put a bunch of like quirky food and stuff on my wish list, and somebody got me the the, the fruit and uh, cheese and nut basket. Somebody got me this cheese and it comes in a little cute little case that's got this on the inside of it so I can use it for like a lunch box. But check it out. I've got all different kinds of cheese and it is shelf stable so I do not have to refrigerate it. I've got white cheddar. I've got Wisconsin, Wisconsin I can't even talk. Wisconsin Wisconsin vintage cheddar, uh, more white. I've got buffalo wing cheddar. I can't talk. I, I cannot freaking believe this. What is this? Ranch cheddar. Ranch cheddar. But look, there is like a ton. There's a ton of cheese in this thing. Look at all that cheese I got. I love cheese, and I don't have to refrigerate this. And the good thing about this, too, is they're single servings. They are single servings, so I just open up one at a time, and the rest of them will stay just fine in the package that they are. Oh my gosh, Gilman Cheese Corporation. No, 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 no. This can be stored unopened at room temperature. Our mouth-watering cheeses also have a long shelf life. Mouth-watering indeed. Oh, this would have been great with lunch today. I'm going to have to get some more, some more, uh, soft taco shells and, and make some more and put some cheese on it. Um, it doesn't say, who did it come from? Who did, did is there a, like a note in here? Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, get away from me, bug. Um, let's see, maybe. Does it say who it's from? No! It does not say who it's from. I have no idea who it's from. There's no note. Thank you, anonymous person. I'm gonna love my cheese. Now, this next one is kind of heavy. It makes a jiggly sound. I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, I wonder if this is... Let me just see here. Somebody had said they, wait, they were sending me something. Oh my goodness. This is a surprise. I did not know I was getting this. All right. This I have been wanting for a very, very long time. See that? It is a Coleman camp oven. It is an oven that you put on top of a 
like a, a Coleman stove. <gasps> Aww, I'm not going to say your name because I don't think I have permission. In fact, I think you told me not to say your name. Hi, Anne. Enjoy your gift. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. All right. You know what? I'm cooking. I'm going to cook on this tonight. Now, I know that it says that you're just supposed to use it over your cooktop, but I've seen people use them over, like, wood-burning stoves and rocket stoves, so I may try and cook something on this tonight. It probably won't be in this video. It might be in the next video. But I am going to bake something I've wanted to bake for so, so freaking long. Last but not least, I'm not sure what this is. Open up presents is so much fun. Oh, I know what this is. I'm not sure if I can say your name either. Enjoy your gifts. I remember when I was blessed by others in the past and how I am still blessed now. I hope I am a blessing to you from, I don't know if I can say their names. You know what, before I publish this video, I'm going to, um, I'll reach out to them. Gosh, I don't even know if I have their emails. Because I don't think these are people that have emailed me or texted me or anything. Okay, let me, let me show you what's in this box. Because it's something that I need. Very much so. These are bucket lids. Black bucket lids. And I've been getting like black buckets one at a time. Um, and what I want these for is um, when I put water in the black buckets and sit it out in the sun, all of the the um, bucket lids that I have or have had, they're all in use now, but they're white. So I've got one, two, three, four, I think there's ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep, ten black bucket lids. This is awesome. So this has been amazing. <sighs> I got cheese, I got snacks, I have bucket lids, and I have an oven. Thank you so much, you guys, for sending me those wonderful, wonderful gifts. Today, I am going to put at least one of them to use, and that is the oven. I'm going to try and cook this, or bake, this little brownie thing that somebody gave me for Christmas, and I haven't been able to make it yet because I haven't had an oven. So I'm going to try and do that today. And I have already tried some of the cheese, and that cheese is the most delicious cheese. It is soft, it's creamy, there's all kinds of flavor in it, and the single serving size is absolutely perfect for me. So, well, let me see if I can get this stove fired up, or not stove, oven rather, and cook this little brownie thing on it. And for the first time, I am going to use it as it is intended on top of a um, propane stove. Once I kind of get a feel for how it works, I may take it outside and put it on the rocket stove or the wood-burning stove. So let's see if this works. Okay, I'm gonna show you how this works. I look like a crazy woman. It has to heat up to 350. So we're gonna see if this heats up to 350. It's just about 3.50, so I'm going to grab my little brownie in the cast iron skillet thingy and put it on in there. Here we go. Hope it works. This is the middle oven rack, and that's what it says it's best to cook at, so... All right. Hopefully it's going to work. Fifteen minutes are up, so I'm going to grab this. You know what, this is hot, so I'm going to put it down. I'm going to take it out of the oven and let it cool. Look at that, though, you guys. <laughs> Here it is. It's all cooked. I'm going to taste it. Mm. Oh, yeah, this was done perfect. Oops. Here it is. Can you see that? That is perfect. Delicious. It cooked it absolutely perfect not burnt on the bottom or anything mmm delicious breakfast time 
Mm -mm -mm. So that little oven works great. You just got to kind of watch it a little bit to make sure the temperature doesn't drop or rise. Um, I think it'll still work on the rocket stove. I do. Um, if it gets too hot, I can just pull some wood back. If it gets too cold, I can put some more wood in. Same with the wood burning stove. So that oven, I'm going to be able to make all kinds of unhealthy food like pizza. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just all kinds of different stuff. I wonder if I could get a little pizza stone to fit in there. Hmm. But the thing is, is I'm going to be able to bake. And um, I want to make some lasagna. And I had made lasagna in my little tiny crock pot. Turns out great. But if I can cook something without having to use my solar energy, which reminds me, I'm going to try and get that set up today, um, that's a bonus. So this is great. Thank you so, so very much for that beautiful oven. Um, I can't wait to use it more and more. Anyway. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.